to Real Talk with your host, Melissa Miranda, sponsored by Miracles Within Us. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited. Hello, hello, everyone. And welcome to this beautiful topic. We're going to talk about massive consciousness and the benefits, the pros and cons of being plugged in and the pros and cons of staying plugged in. So I want to give you all the information possible. So I have here notes <laughs> to make sure I cover everything that I would like to cover today. And this is a part two from Real Talk, the last Real Talk on unplugging from massive consciousness. And this was a topic that was requested to go more deeper in. So here we are. Here we go. I am super hyped and excited to provide this to you today. So let's talk about a little bit really quickly. I'm just going to recap um, what it means or what I mean by massive consciousness. Mass massive consciousness is the connection that we have to the collective mentality, the collective consciousness, the collective connection, right? The culture, the society, and there's certain rules that we play by based on the consciousness that we currently have. Now, there are pros and cons to all sides of this, and I want to go in a little deeper with you. I know we talked about it on our last Real Talk, but I want to talk about it a little bit more in depth now here. So I have my notes. So first I want to talk about the benefits of unplugging from massive consciousness. And then we'll talk about the, the cons of it, right? So we're going to talk about the pros and we're going to talk about the cons. And to some, these pros may not feel like pros or to cons may not feel so con. So you get to decide which category it goes under but I'm here to give you information so that you can then make a decision for yourself, okay? Um, so some of the pros of unplugging from massive consciousness is that you get to decide the direction of your life. You no longer have to play by the same societal rules of when to get married or when is it to, to start aging and all of these things. You can start unplugging from these realities, right? You don't have a limit to what your potential is based on your gender, your identity, um, your culture and how you identify yourself, right? You can break out of those limitations you become limitless in in a way um, based on your own mental state as well because in order to unplug from massive consciousness you have to be aware of what is the programs running in the consciousness itself and which ones serve you and which ones don't okay um, massive consciousness you know unplugging from massive consciousness the, some of the pros is really you get to define you get to define what your life looks like what success looks like to you what health looks like to you um, what marriage looks like to you what parenthood looks like for you right because when we're plugged in we have to do things the way that everyone else does um even education um roles as far as gender roles as well women do this men do that right kids do this adults do this right um elderly do this and young adults do this and you can break out of these norms you can break out of these things and those are some of the pros of it you get to choose how to really live your life and I know I keep saying that because it's really really important to understand that when you unplug from massive consciousness you make your own rules there is no set rules there are no boundaries only the boundaries that you put upon yourself okay some of the cons are that you may feel alone and that you may not have a lot of friends or a lot of people understanding you okay getting you 
right? You the the selection of people who you can have these type of conversations with end up being more limited. Um, at least right now, this may change, and and I do hope that it does change that people start to realize their own power. Um, and you could see where I where I resonate with, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to put my my impressions onto you. I'm trying to give you information, but you kind of tell where, where I'm at with this, right? Um, but at the same time, some of the cons is that because you don't have a defined um, way of seeing success or a defined way of seeing relig uh, relationships or spirituality or money and all these things, it could... Be very overwhelming as far as trying to always have to come up with this yourself having to make up your own life right so that in itself could be overwhelming and there could be a lot of mistakes that occur and I, I say mistakes in quotations because it's an interpretation of mistakes I'm just using that word but you start to, to do things and you don't have all the information and you kind of like a guinea pig with your own life. Um, <laughs> and to some people, that does not feel safe, right? So you need to really sit in with yourself. One of the other things is that you constantly would have to be self-aware um, and realizing when are you not being plugged in and when are you not because when are you when are you and when are you not um when you are unplugging from massive consciousness it's not just hey i'm unplugging from massive consciousness and everything that is connected to massive consciousness is then you're now unplugged to that that is not true it's different areas so you could be unplugged in relationships but plugged in when it comes to health right so you go through the patterns of health and all of the things well it runs in my family that is something that a lot of people fall back on oh well it runs in my family it's in my dna this sort of stuff when you're plugged into massive consciousness that is truth but when you step out of massive consciousness you have the ability to recreate your own dna um, and I'm not going to go into that right now. We can talk about that another time. If that's something you guys would like to know more about, um, shoot comments below. And if I get a lot of hits on it, I will definitely talk about that topic. Um, so some of the, the cons of unplugging from massive consciousness is the sense of feeling alone a lot of the times. Um, as far as physical beings now that doesn't necessarily mean that you are alone no one is ever alone we're always connected in spirit spirits always with us angels are always with us our guides are always with us our ancestors are always with us right our connection to divinity is always present unless we unplug from that reality okay um and from there i don't know what would happen <laughs> right so some of the cons, let me see what I have here on my list. Yes, so there is like that feeling of loneliness. There's a lot of inner reflection. So when you're unplugging from massive consciousness, it could be a pro and a con where you dedicate a lot of your time discovering what's inside within yourself more than what we kind of give ourselves permission or massive consciousness at this current time gives us permission to individuality is not something that's celebrated when it comes to the massive consciousness and tribal belief or community um it's it it's not encouraged okay and as soon as you get too far out of the the norm and you start to become too much of an individual um you kind of get pushed aside, you get cast, you know, chastised and um, ridiculed. So some of the cons is that people are constantly telling you what to do with your life and people are trying to save you um, in some way or another and you have to be able to handle and deal with that kind of pushback from the world around you um, unless you completely just leave some 
you know these environments and you're in an environment that's more supportive now those environments are not always easy to come by and that's one of the cons of unplugging from massive consciousness is because there's so many different beliefs so many different people doing it in different ways that at moments it could feel that you don't have the support okay so let's talk a little bit around staying plugged in right what are some of the con what some of the pros of staying plugged into massive consciousness some of the pros is that you know who your network is you know the people who you can connect with with similar ideologies and same identities and things along those lines it, it's easier around those those routes um, you also know you also heal as the community heals um, where if you're unplugged from massive consciousness you create your own healing which could be a both positive and a negative depending on how resourceful you are and how intuitive you are in listening with yourself and when I'm using the word intuitive I'm not saying psychic intuitive with yourself knowing your inner being knowing your divinity connection with with everything in existence okay so staying plugged into massive consciousness you know you heal some of the pros is that you heal as the community heals so for instance um, if there is an illness let's say like there was polio and massive people were getting ill and once there was a cure for it um, or you know things to, to really help ourselves from not getting that right then the massive consciousness took the benefit of getting these vaccines so when you're plugged into that you then receive the benefit of that but the con of that is that if the massive consciousness is still dealing with an illness um, and you want to heal you cannot heal if you're still plugged in because your belief system is I heal as a tribe I heal as a community I heal as the consciousness right in order to have healing that is outside of the massive consciousness is you have to unplug and be willing to do things differently and most importantly see yourself your body and your healing process as a different form okay so staying plugged into massive consciousness some of the pros is that you don't really have to question too much of the community right because you you are you are connected to the same belief systems you stay and you follow with the crowd it's um it's easier there's no you know standing out of the crowd and being the outsider right the black sheep of the family is sort of say right you you fit in you are able to adapt to, to the environment that is at hand um, in front of you because it's the massive environment right everything just seems a little bit easier now some of the cons like one of the cons that I mentioned before around healing was that one of the cons of staying plugged into massive consciousness is that you heal as the community heals you grow as the community grows your wealth your success your identity only grows as fast as the whole community does and as the whole mass consciousness does so when <clears throat> excuse me when we stepping into that those are certain things to really look at so you get to decide for yourself what works for you and in what areas it might work for you right so for instance you might want to unplug from the massive consciousness around healing but maybe stay in in the version of maybe marriage right you want the traditional marriage you want the wedding and the things but some people may not right so you get to choose and in different areas of your life you get to step forward in now there's also a trickle effect because um, one of the things you have to be really aware of when do really plugging and unplugging right and I'm not even going on this video on how to unplug um, and what that would really take uh, <laughs> that in itself 
whole other topic and if you guys want that topic please write that in the comments below and I will talk about that uh, in the next series uh, so some of the cons of staying plugged in some of these are repeated but it's because they kind of go in step in the same categories right staying plugged in some of the cons is that you have to live by the standards of the community right so if the standards of the community is only men and women can be in marriage then you have to obey by those rules and that is your plug in right and that's a con I consider that a con uh, maybe for some people they do not I consider that a con because I feel that that limits the ability to love and I think nothing should limit our ability our ability to love and whom to love I think we're all deserving of it and we all deserve to, to love whom we want and receive love from who we want right um, let's see uh, one of the cons again is not being able to have a fully individual image right individuality is not celebrated when it comes to massive consciousness they want you to stay in the same realm that is not it's not celebrated to to be outside of the norm where when you are unplugged from massive consciousness you actually celebrated for your individuality so here are some of the pros and cons I don't want to make this video too long but here are some of the ones that came up and if there's any that showed up for you while I was speaking please share below to help everyone else and please like share and subscribe to continue moving this forward I really feel that this is a really important topic because um, for a lot of us, we are needing movement, we are needing individuality, um, and for some of us, we're needing a sense of community, and I feel like this could kind of give us a little bit of a taste around where we can start plugging and unplugging our energy, because we have that. And plugging is just a word that I'm using, if you think of yourself as this big, energy like a new uh, electron <laughs> right an electron has all these like little electricity things and it goes and connects well that is when you connect you're connecting to a belief system and when you disconnect you're you're disconnecting from a belief system and I feel that it's important to talk about patterns and our belief systems because that is what shapes us and shapes our experiences and shapes our reality whether we choose to acknowledge this or not this is what people are experiencing and it has been proven scientifically that how we feel about things how we see ourselves and how we connect with the consciousness as a whole um, affects how we ourselves are able to move through life okay um, you know for some people you know they've already unplugged from massive consciousness and the truth is people who have unplugged from massive consciousness in a lot of different areas especially around individuality um, and around success and wealth they have really created a different world for themselves and you'll see this in a lot of self-help books and you'll see this in a lot of motivational speakers as well um, and I'm not gonna name any here cuz I don't wanna use anyone's names but you can plug in what I mean here right um, and when you one of the things with both staying in and unplugging to the mass consciousness is that regardless of what you do you will be criticized <laughs> so you might as well pick the one that makes you feel more in alignment with who and what you want to be for the rest of your life and moving forward and the energy you want to emanate into the world right there are benefits to all I don't think this is a black and white topic um, or yes or no right or wrong topic uh, I really feel that as we evolve that we get to really see where we're putting our energy into 
And for those of you who have little ones, <laughs> it's important to allow them to also have their individuality in choosing what works for them. But again, that's just me <laughs> and my impression on the world. So um, thank you for being here. I appreciate all your time, all your energy, and all your love. And please leave comments. I love them. I really do. I love the comments. I love to know where you are. Um, and what I mean where you are is not like where in the world you are. What I mean is where you are in life. What are, where is your goal and how, where are you to that goal? And if there's anything you want me to dig deeper into with this conversation, again, leave a comment. Let me know because I am excited to talk about this topic. I'll probably talk about it um, some other time later on, getting a little bit more deeper, maybe even getting some guest speakers on here. And I will be doing the real talk live on my Facebook page at Miracles Within Us. Um, so join me, and it's going to be every Thursday around 6 p.m.-ish. Um, between 6 and 7, I will be doing these lives, so you can stay tuned and look in there. And it's Eastern Standard Time, okay? So just make sure. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for being here. If you're watching me on YouTube, you can also leave a comment. Please share, like, and subscribe as well. The more we get this out there, the more we can awaken the world and hopefully have a massive consciousness that really promotes individuality and expression and freedom because that's what we really need and most importantly peace within the self and within each other and just total acceptance of one another so until the next time i love you unconditionally namaste